started. The following segment is sponsored by Smith's Food and Drug. If you are carving a turkey today and aren't quite sure what's the best way to go about it, Chef Jeff has tips for us. Let's take a look. Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, today I've got my holiday turkey out of the oven and I wanna show you how to carve that thing. Um, there's actually uh, some good ways to do it, some not good ways to do it, so I'm gonna show you. Uh, the first important thing is to make sure you've rested your turkey outside of the oven for at least, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour is probably better. Uh, just so that it's it's easier to cut and it's not so hot and also the juices will have will stay in the bird lots better so let's get it onto a cutting board what i'm going to do very first is cut my legs off the leg and thigh are connected together so just kind of put a little slit down the side and let's take the the thing off the back there and then just kind of separate it from the bird like so and then we'll actually let me get it get it and cut it there we go perfect and it's juicy as you can see all these lovely juices coming out of there so that's all the dark meat um let me just sh show you what i do with the the wing generally is i just kind of pull it back the wing is actually attached to the breast and so i kind of pull it back like that and then just kind of take my knife <clears throat> make sure your knife is sharp that's another thing and then you should be able to just pull your wing right off sorry my bird is dancing all over my board this isn't, this isn't as elegant as when you do it on the, the dinner table, right? But that's okay. Okay, wing is now off. There we go. Wing's off. Okay, let me show you what I do with the breast. Now you see the, the little pop-up timer still not in there. You notice it hasn't popped up yet. That's because sometimes when you use those timers, um, the bird gets overcooked. So find the, the, the bone there in the middle and just kind of run your knife down along it like so and kind of down the side. And then the same thing back here, we'll just kind of run the knife down along there and then get it back, back behind there. And then eventually what you get, let me show you this view, is we eventually get that breast off of there. And look how beautiful that is. And of course from there, we can go ahead and start slicing that breast. As you can see, the meat's juicy, juices are coming down. It's still hot even after 30 minutes of resting, which is something too but anyways what I normally do is I'll set this on my platter and then sometimes I'll separate the the leg from the thigh serve the leg like that and then just with that brown meat I just usually use my hands and kind of pull it like so but anyway carving a turkey isn't all that scary just so you have a sharp knife and you kind of follow some basic techniques that I showed you there and you're gonna have this lovely turkey somebody can have the drumstick and everybody will be happy and your dinner will be a success. Of course, you can find turkeys at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for shopping, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.